Hello, and welcome to another edition of Ehlers Elite Interviews. I'm Christopher Ehlers. And I'm Amber Ehlers, and together we are local realtor team with Keller Williams Innovate. We are sponsors for parkbench.com, a site committed to promoting local businesses and keeping you informed about the events in your community. Without further ado, we really hope you enjoy this interview. All right, well, I am here with Scott Felix, owner of two companies, HiViz Home Inspection and HiViz Aerial Photography. Well, thanks for joining me today. Thank you for having me, I appreciate it. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about, well, let's start with uh, HiViz Home Inspection, that came first, right? Can you tell yes. me a little bit about that company? Um, I started HiViz, uh, I was a garbage man for just, just short of 25 years. Um, and in that time as a garbage man, I was a union steward. Um, and people that don't know, union stewards' responsibilities are to help the employees, the drivers, mechanics, you know, whoever's, whoever's at the shop that's part of the union, um, deal with issues when it comes to management or safety issues or something like that. So it's kind of, you know, the go between between the company. Um, so it's more like a helping, a helper when it comes to those situations. Um, and in 2017, I hurt my back. Mm. Um, ended up having a back surgery. So that kind of pushed me to find, you know, start thinking, hey, you know, is this something you're going to be able to do long term um, or do you need to find something else? Um, or, or is this what I want to do long term and continue to beat my body up to the point where, you know, I'll be, you know, in a wheelchair when I'm 60 years old. So I didn't want to do that. So I started looking around. I started talking to some people and I met an inspector in Chicago. Um, and right after I went back to work in early 2018 and you know him and I kind of hit it off and as we were talking he kind of told me he's like hey why don't you look into this you know if you're looking to get into something to you know either offset your income or to have as a part-time job or to possibly go work for a bigger company get into home inspection because there's decent money in it mm -hmm. So after talking to him for a while, taking the classes, I joined InterNACHI, um, took the classes through InterNACHI, got certified to be a home inspector, um, was actually talking, talked with another company to work for them in the beginning. Um, I didn't really see the benefit of working for a bigger company. Uh, and to be honest with you, working for some a big conglomerate corporate company didn't really set too well with me just because I was in a union for so long. Right. Um, and I didn't really want somebody else to be my boss. I wanted to do my own. Um, so, long story short, uh, sat down, had a conversation with the wife. Um, she allowed me to start the company. <laughs> Smart man. Um, and, you know, she, she had my back through the whole thing. Um, it wasn't easy in the beginning. Just getting out there and marketing and talking to people and getting, getting known. Um, but every Sunday, I've gone every Sunday for the last, going on four years, um, out to open houses mm. um, and meeting new realtors kind of expanding, you know, getting my name out there. Um, if they don't remember my face, they remember my truck. Definitely. Um, you know, so that kind of helps. Um, that's, that's, that, it's like a walking billboard. I love it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I get a lot of compliments on the truck. Um, I probably say I get more compliments on the truck than I do me, but that's okay. <laughs> uh, but it, like I said, it, it, it's paid for itself in spades. Um, people do remember it. They do remember my logo. They remember my company. And I honestly, I've had people that I've never even heard of you know, call me, and it's not from Google. It's because hey, I saw you. I was doing an inspect or a walkthrough, or we were doing a, um, a well, just walking through, looking at homes on a Saturday, and we saw your truck. You know, and you had your lights on, and you were doing an inspection, and we took a picture of it, and then they would call me for the inspection. So, what are some things that you believe your company sets you apart from some of the other bigger companies? Um, well, I honestly believe that. Some, I've, had real, I've had realtors that want me to omit things or not put things in the reports. Um, I am 100% honest with my clients. Uh, I only like to work with, with agents that are the same way. Mm -hmm. um, and for me, it, the honesty thing is a, is a huge part. Um, that to me is number one. Number two is I have to be thorough in the house. There are companies out there that do three, four, five inspections a day. Um, I don't believe you can give your client, you know, what they're paying for 
with an hour and 15 minute inspection. It just doesn't happen. I don't care who you are. Um, I mean, there's inspectors out there that have been in business 30 plus years that can knock a house out and have you know in an hour. That's fine. But if you want to give your client what they're looking for, and actually, you know, they're paying you to do, you need a couple hours in that house. Yeah, I was looking at your website, and there's a lot of uh, awards and credentials at the bottom. And when you look at the sample report, it's very, very detailed. Things like thermal in imaging. Mm -hmm. Can you talk a little bit about some of the things that a lot of us wouldn't know, like that that you're doing, that you can find, that that you can see that that someone just walking through can't see with the naked eye. Um, we use plenty of different equipment. Um, thermal imagers for one. I have sewer scopes. Um, I have moisture meters, but those things are kind of, if I'm walking through a house and I see a stain on the ceiling, mm -hmm. uh, depending on where it is in the house, it can either be under a bathroom or it can be on the perimeter, the outside perimeter of the house. So if I walk into a house and I see staining on the perimeter, usually in the corners, and uh, that kind of tells me there may be something wrong with the soffits or the eaves on the outside. But if I see it, I take a picture, I put it in the report, but then I also will pull out my moisture meter and I will test for moisture content in the wall. Anything usually for drywall, anything above 14% is usually moisture saturation. Um, plus or minus, you know, it depends. Also depends on the equipment you're using too. Um, but then again, you know, sometimes if I can't reach it, uh, I've done like churches and stuff that have cathedral ceilings you can't see. So I'll use a thermal camera and it'll come up and uh, moisture usually comes up as like a bright purple or dark purple, um, depending on how much is there. Um, so, it, it, but it depends. If you're staining, it's usually that it's usually water. If it's not, there's no staining. It's you know, it could be a problem with the air gap. Um, and I also saw you had had taken like it looked like a snake camera that went through pipes to kind of look through pipes. Yeah, too. my sewer scope. That's yep. your sewer scope. Okay. Yep. Um, we do that as well. That's an ancillary service that we provide. Um, that's basically just we check the sewer lateral line that goes from inside the house to the street. Um, I've seen houses that were. 100 years old with uh, clay pipe that were completely fine. Um, but I've also seen houses that were two years old that had PVC running from the house to the street that mm. were cracked because mm. either they were doing construction or it was cracked during construction or the city was doing work and cracked it and didn't replace it um, or it, it just got displaced from tree roots. Um, but I like to offer that service because, I mean, if you call a plumber to do it, they're probably going to charge about $350, $375, you know, somewhere around that ballpark. Um, if you have it done with me, it's only $250 for the inspection. Mm -hmm. um, but it does help. It's just one more thing that we do to keep everything all encompassing. Um, so when you get my report, you're getting, you know, if you do that, we, you know, we do radon testing as well. So when you get your, once you get your report, you're going to have your home inspection report, your sewer scope, your radon test. You know, it's all going to be in one package. It's all there for you. You don't have to go you know, to four, yeah. three or four different places to get one thing done. So. And, and we were talking offline that, you know, you were having as much as um, 50 inspections a month. So yeah. business was really good for the inspection company. But uh, what motivated you just to start this second company, this photography company? Um, uh, like we were talking earlier, it was kind of a natural progression, only because I usually, I'd like to say, I, and people don't believe me when I tell them, um, but I take anywhere between five and 700 pictures per house. Mm, mm -hmm. um, I try to, I do it for a couple of reasons, but I try to get every angle of every room in the house, um, all four walls, ceilings, I want all that to be in a report, and the stuff that I don't put in a report, I save for 10 years for my clients, mm. um, just for them to have for down the road. Um, so just taking all those pictures, you kind of know how to take angle, good angles and stuff of the houses. And honestly, I would look at the, some of the, the sites for the realtors because I'm on MLS daily. Um, I look on realtor.com or you know, whatever, and you'll see that some of those pictures are like, wow. Either they're they're just you can tell they were done with a you know just, somebody just went there and snapped a picture with the camera and didn't really right. care, um, or you have companies that are out there that just completely overdo the pictures. You know, um, I try to tell my clients when I do that. You know, if you completely overdo the product, the house, somebody's going to walk in, they're going to say, this is not what I saw online. And they're mm. going to turn around, they're going to leave. And it happens all the time. Um, but just talking to the wife, and I wanted to tell her, I said, when something, when, in the, in the winter time, we kind of slow down a little bit. Um, so I wanted something to kind of offset. You know, uh, I don't believe in having all your eggs in one basket. Mm, so, point. you know, I, I wanted to do, have another stream of income. Um, 
so the plan is with the with the photography company is to hire a couple other photographers and branch out into doing um, headshots and to do doing weddings and you know that I want it to be its its own entity completely away from Hybus Home Inspection. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're actually going to be changing the name of that company after the first of the year. Oh, okay, to so, be what? Um, we're still bonds on the ground. Okay. So, uh, but yeah, I want to get that completely off on its own. Um, but we do you know drone photography. We do aerial videos. Um, we just bought some new, uh, they're called FPV cameras. Mm. Uh, we want to start doing um, office fly-throughs, uh, fly-throughs of homes. It's kind of like Matterport, but it's an actual video of a flying through the house um, with a drone. And correct me if I'm wrong, but you have to get like certified to fly yeah. these drones. You have to have an FAA Part 107. Yeah. So basically a pilot's license for drones. That's, that's impressive. Yeah. Um, so it, and it takes a lot of a lot of courage to start your own business. You started two businesses. So, you know what what's surprised you the most? Um, you know, working for yourself. The amount of work. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of work. Um, it, it's funny because when I was doing garbage, I was doing sixty hours a week, uh-huh. and I thought that was a lot. It was, but it, it was different. It was a different kind of work because when you're doing trash, it's, it's more of a physical job, right? Um, and it's, it's stressful. Um, this is stressful as well, but it's more uh, it's more mental because you you are what you know pushes your business forward. You don't have a billion dollar company behind you telling you which is where you need to go. This is what you need to do. Right. Um, in this business, as you guys know, you have to find your your niche. Yeah. You have to and you have to meet people. And if you're not meeting people and you're not out there in, in the public and you're not talking to people. You're not going anywhere. Right. You're not going to. You're going to have any business, and that was to me that was the the biggest surprise. It was it was a culture shock for me because I sat in the truck by myself for so long, to to switch from being in the truck for so long to switch over to being a people person and right. trying to talk to people. Um, was it, it, for me it was just a huge huge change. I can relate to that as well. Uh, being a develop software developer turned uh, realtor, so it's definitely a, a mental shift. Yeah. Um, what what is something that most people don't know about your business? Uh, honestly, there's not a whole lot. Um, I think the biggest thing is they have a, they have a misconception that we are expensive. Mm-hmm. Um, but if they do do some pricing, they see that we're. I try to keep everything it's very in, in the middle. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, and they just, and another thing is they think that people, you know, home inspectors, some people think that home inspections are a waste of time. Um, but once they've hired me and they've brought me in and they've had me go through their home, um, I've had people I did inspections for three years ago call me and say, hey, you know what, I really appreciate it. They, you know, they'll invite me to do, you know, to home, you know, to their parties or something on the weekends. Um, but it's... It's definitely not a waste of time. No, you know, 100%. to have that knowledge of, it's of not. whether you're selling or buying, mm-hmm. to know all the aspects of the home. It is. It is. It's very important. And I really, I really, I really frown upon uh, when someone's told not to get an inspection. Right. You know, those aren't the people that I like to work with. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so, what would customers say they love most about your business then? Um, the integrity that you provide for the. I customers? think so. Yeah. I, I, the biggest thing that I get is, is how thorough I've been. Yeah. Very your house. thorough. 500 um, pictures. <laughs> the, well, and the fact that uh, um, everything that we do is same day. Right. Um, you, you can't rely on paper reports anymore. Uh, I know there's still companies out there that still make you wait three and four and five days to get your home inspection report back. Um, we write everything pretty much on site, and the only thing I do when we get home is I just make sure that everything is in there and make any last-minute changes, and then they're usually out by 9 p.m. the same day. So, you know. And on the photography photography side of the business, um, you also return those pictures mm-hmm. quite quickly. In addition, also make a video. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I use a few different softwares mm-hmm. uh, for the photography company. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of stuff. It's uh, the editing is the hardest part because some of the houses are just not. You know, they, they're so. I've been to houses where the, the lights were off, um, and lighting is just horrible. It doesn't matter what I bring with me. It's, it's just horrible. So mm-hmm. I have to go home and I have to do some editing. And those usually take a little bit longer. Right. Um, but something that's pretty straightforward with the, with the software that I have, I can usually get it done same day. So what are some of the goals you have for the next year other than renaming your photography business and growing it? Um, honestly, um, 
we're trying to find another inspector to come in. Mm -hmm. um, I want to expand. Uh, most of my business is, has been out near, like in Chicago, or east, east, or I'm sorry, west of Chicago, mm -hmm. out to the Oswego, you know, area. Mm -hmm. um, because when I first started the company, that's where we, I really went out and marketed. So that's where most of my business comes from now. I've got business in Barrington. I've done homes in Inverness. Um, any, a lot of Lake County properties I've done. I do. I'm in Chicago on the north, on the south side at least once a week. Um, I do a couple on the north side. Mm -hmm. um, but we're trying to expand westward and down south. We're trying to go into Juliet. We're trying to go into Frankfurt. We're trying to go in that way. We're trying to go out. Um, to, I've, I've done inspections in Paw Paw. But there's those, there's a lot of rural companies out there um, and rural agents out there that don't really have a choice of inspector that's out mm -hmm. there because it, there's just either a local guy or that's it. The bigger companies don't want to go out there because it's a waste of time for them. They're losing money. You know, I don't look at it that way. You know, if the client needs, I go where the client needs. Right. You know, um, so I've had my truck two years and it's got 50,000 miles on it. It had six when I bought it. So that's all company miles. <laughs> Yeah, customer service too seems to be a very key value. Um, I know we, we were talking offline that you know hiring um, is difficult because you want to make yeah. sure that the people you bring on have the same core values that mm -hmm. you do. Yep, yeah. it's it's not easy. It's not easy nowadays. Right. Um, it's it's been a it's been an adventure this last year, just trying to find someone to you know. And this is my baby. This company is my baby. I built this company. Um, with the help of my wife and my family, uh, so it's I don't want to just have anyone work for me. Um, if you're on time, great. If you're, you know, I want somebody who's going to be as thorough, if not more, than I am. So that way, I, I get to the point where I don't have to babysit. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to have to come in and review their work after doing my work for the True. day. You know, <laughs> before I, you know, I want to be someone that I can trust, right. and you know, not have to worry about. You know, him putting out or her putting out a good product. And honestly, I would love to find a, a, a woman inspector um, because they are few and far between out here. Mm. Um, I have uh, a friend who owns an inspection company in Kansas City and another one owns an inspection company in, in Cal uh, California. And they have each have, you know, a mixture of inspectors. Uh, but he said that his, his female inspectors, they're better than... <laughs> yeah, they pay attention you know, to details um, better. <laughs> and honestly, it's, I mean, my, like I said, my wife, she's, my wife's amazing. Her, I mean, I wish I, I could hire my wife for my, because, mm -hmm. I mean, she'd be my boss, actually. Um, but She isn't now? No. Well, oh, okay. I mean, for everything else but the company, yes. Uh, but, yeah, it's, it's yeah, that would be something that I would, I would, I would love to have, just because, you know, it, it gives me, uh, I was raised by two women, my mother and my grandmother, and mm -hmm. I know how, you know, that they think. Um, and I know how, you know, I have seen how m much more detail oriented mm -hmm. they seem, they tend to be. Yeah. Um, so, you know, I would love to have someone on board that could do that. All right. Um, uh, why do you, why do you think it's important for people to shop locally? Uh, Everything stays in the community. Mm -hmm. You know, you're getting people that that you work with, that you live around, that you, you know, you may or may not know. Um, but if you walk into a store, if you walk in through downtown Yorkville, mm -hmm. you may walk into that store and bump into that owner and find that you live in the same neighborhood. Oh yeah. You know, and it's it's it becomes more of a personal transaction as to where you walk into a bigger you know box store, and you you just walk through there and you're picking up stuff and you go in, or you go to a, a, a store and you buy clothes. You know, it's not the same experience. Right. Um, and, and it also helps with, when it comes to word of mouth. Because, True. you know, the more people you know, the more your name is going to get out there. You know, it's got good and bad. If you're not good for your clients, then it's going gonna, it's gonna to tank your business. But if you're good, it's going to grow your business. That's true. You know, and you start local. And if you start local, that becomes, it starts to, to expand out and expand out. You know, and we're, you know, we know that firsthand because, again, we started our company with nothing and you know I've doubled my my sales every year not sales but my inspections every year mm -hmm. um, since I started the company that's amazing so it, it grows pretty quick yeah what would be what would you say would be your most memorable customer experience that you've had so far um I did an inspection in Barrington mm -hmm. for <laughs> a client 
Um, he was buying a house, a couple million dollar house. Mm -hmm. They, it was a company that bought the house was actually a, we call them flippers. Right. Um, so they bought the property from a corporate company who used it for their presidents and their, you know, their CEOs and stuff. As they went through the company, they stayed, that's where they lived. Mm. Well, they had, this company came in, they bought the property. Um, it had a first floor addition built onto the back of the house. So they decided they wanted to add a second floor, get more square footage on the back of the house. The house was already huge. It was already almost, it was almost an 8,000 square foot house as it was, but they wanted, <laughs> they wanted to add more, you know. Um, so did the inspection. As I'm walking through the house, um, I go into that section and I notice that that section is dusty. Mm. You know, and and I'm kind of looking as I'm walking in because it's just open. It's just, you know, it's just open and you can see, you know, the first floor, you can start straight into the opening and it's got a little bit of a slight, the floor's off just a little bit. So I'm like, okay, so I walk in, you know, you, you kind of feel yourself being pulled, you know, and after a while you start noticing, you know, you start getting pulled to the side, you know, there's something wrong. So I walked through, I did the inspection, and I just noted the things that I found. I go on the second floor, and anybody who does inspections knows that anything that's on the second floor when it comes to foundational issues is usually amplified um, on the second floor from the first floor. Mm. So I walked on the second floor, and I was up there five minutes. I'm like, no, there's something wrong. Oh, no. So I went down to the crawl space. Well, get into the crawl space, and I start shaking all the beams and the, the support posts. None of them were touching anything. They were just all shaking. Okay? Wow. I have videos of this house on my, what, on my I mean, maybe from, <laughs> years, from years ago, because it's when I first started the company. Um, but I have videos of me shaking these posts. You know, and I'm like, what is holding up this house? Oh, no. You know? So I start, I crawl in a little bit farther, crawl a little bit farther, and I turn the corner to where right, you're right down the center of the, 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 uh, the, the house with that addition. And there was five Home Depot buckets full of cement with with six by six posts running down the center beam mm. of that property. And that was the only thing holding up that house. Wow. <laughs> and, and it wasn't just it was it wasn't just a one story, it was a two story. Unbelievable. Okay? And it, the really weird part about it was is the way that they had the entrance for that that uh, crawl space. Sometimes they're on the outside of the house, sometimes they're on the inside of the house. And there's usually a panel in a wall or you, there's a panel in the floor. Well, these guys had they had stairs where you had to actually walk up into the that addition. Well, they built the opening behind the stairs, mm -hmm. so you had to pull those stairs out to get into their cross space. And I, they weren't expecting me to find it. So when I got in there and I saw that, I, I told the clients right away. I'm like, I said, you know, I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to take a video. I'm going to bring it out to you show it to you you're not going to believe what i'm showing you <laughs> and i did and they ended up buying the property anyway but they worked it out and i do know that it cost it was like a fifty thousand dollar fix it cost them a lot of money to fix the house um, it's so but, important to have that knowledge before yeah. you make that decision oh yeah, yeah. and yeah. that also that house also had bats in the attic yeah oh wow because <laughs> nobody had been in the attic for years wow so yeah it was probably about you know there's a nice little colony of bets in the attic. <laughs> same house and i was like man what else am i gonna find in this house but that was that was i mean it was the fact that the house was so big it was so beautiful but it was just the fact that you, you see something like that and people walk into something and they see that's what they see they see right. the beauty of it they see the grandeur of it they don't see what's beneath you know and that's why they hire us that's why it's important. But yeah, exactly. Yeah, no doubt. Um, so I mean, that for me, that was my. That's a good one. Yeah. So, so what do you do besides work? Like, what kind of hobbies do you have? <laughs> Not very many anymore. Yeah. Um, I used to have motorcycles. Um, I sold my motorcycles when my daughter was born, just because mm -hmm. I wasn't going to have time. Yeah. Um, I used to own a boat. I don't have time for that anymore. Um, this company has become my. It's become my work. It's become my hobby. Um, it's my passion right passion, now. Passion for sure. Um, yeah. So I figure, you know, in the next five to 10 years, I will be in a position to where I can step back and start getting back into those things. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. until that happens, I mean, this is my priority right now. Yeah. Not just for the company, but for my family. Definitely. Anything exciting going on that you want the customers to know about right now? Um, on the home inspection point, we're actually branching out in, into commercial work after the first of the year. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna start doing commercial inspections. Um, that's more for you know agents and companies. Um, 
but on the photography part, we actually were partnering with a company called Giraffes 360. Mm. They're out of the UK. Mm -hmm. um, they're kind of like uh, Matterport, um, but they are their equipment's a lot easier to use. It's a little quicker. Mm. Um, it, it's more. It's 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 just more. When it comes to functionality, it's it's easier to take to use, and the turnaround time is a lot quicker. So I can go into a house and do a 3D LiDAR scan on the house, and I'm in and out of the house in like 20 minutes. Mm. That includes, that includes photography and doing the draft. Um, and that system also does, you know, I know, I'm sure you guys have seen where they would give you like a floor plan um, for a Matterport. Well, this company does it, does it as well, but with them, they give you, you can see like the wall thicknesses, and you can be, be able to tell if this wall is a low bearing wall or if it's just studs. Um, so that's how high tech they are. Um, and I'm also in talks with another company um, out of Texas. It's called they're called Roofhawk. Um, they have a a uh, platform to where I use my drone and I send it up there to inspect the roofs. But it will within ninety, I believe it's ninety six percent accuracy, show me every hail strike, hmm. and every crack that's on that roof. Wow. So I've been we've been going back and forth because they don't really have anyone up here that's using it right now. So that's something else that you know should be coming um, soon. Mm -hmm. uh, so that, that stuff will be all just be part of you know the inspection. All right. Well, thank you so much no for problem. this. Thank was you for been me. I super it. super. You. Uh, you know, it's just been great. Super knowledgeable. Um, you know, I, I love the integrity that, that you're providing and. You've been very successful. It's motivating. I try to have two companies becoming very successful, and uh, good things happen to good people. It, so. it does. It does. And you know what? But it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't happen if you don't work for it. That's true. No. Got to be. Got to be. Not, it's not going to get handed hand right. to you. So that's true. All right. Well, thank you again. No problem. Thank you. All right. Thanks for watching. If you have a suggestion for a person of interest or a local business that you want us to interview next. Or if you know anyone that is looking to move in or move out of the area, please let us know. And remember, continue to support your local businesses.